Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bobby Kryptonite here, and welcome to a different kind of Bobby K Bikes video. For quite a while now, I've been wanting to do some videos more on the cycling side of things, some product reviews, and other such things like that. So, we're going to begin with a first impressions video of my new BMX helmet. Now, I can't really do a full-on product review of a helmet until I've crashed in it, so I can say that it's good at protecting my head and I'm hoping that I won't be crashing in this helmet uh, so I'm afraid we won't be doing a product review but first impressions certainly it's a mongoose hard shell BMX helmet I've got the size large and it cost me £20 in Halfords now, I've been wanting a BMX helmet for a while because I crashed in my last one so I could review that and I never really replaced it, I kind of got more into road cycling and had road cycling helmets. Now this is my current road cycling helmet, it has served me well and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it, but I just don't quite look the part when I'm wearing this and riding the burners. So we've invested in this, plus on a BMX ride out that I was on a couple of years ago when I uploaded my photos from onto the forum, uh, someone commented <laughs> Um, saying that the photo of my burner with my helmet on the handlebars looked kind of pathetic and it wasn't this but it was another road helmet so for that reason we've got a BMX helmet so without any further ado let's see what it's like it's certainly comfortable and the strap does up quite nicely it has a nice padded piece on this side of the strap to stop the plastic being against your chin which is a nice comfort just still to adjust it properly so the straps to the right tightness you can see that mongoose have been eco-friendly they've gone for this nice visor in a nice sustainable recyclable cardboard so green points to mongoose for that in all seriousness though it is a nice helmet we'll just get the packaging off there we are that wasn't meant to happen, but we've cut it, so that was a one-take thing. As I said, quite comfortable, but can feel like there's just a little bit much in the way of wiggle room. Luckily, it did come with an extra set of padding, which is thicker, so we can add that in and make it fit better. Okay, here's the helmet, upside down. You can see the inside of it. It's got some nice vents. That's for the back, so that'll change out for that back one, so we'll just take that out. You can see the you can see the difference in thickness there when you put them side by side, so put the thicker one in. Nice and easy. How to change the padding in your helmet. Okay, we've now changed the padding in the helmet and that's a much better fit. Feels tight but not too tight, it's kind of hugging my head, it's it's comfortable, there's no wobble. Now it's a very nice looking helmet and everything but I've had an idea on how we might be able to customize it. Now they say you should never put stickers near the foam because it attacks the foam but I'm sure it would do no harm to put a few stickers on the plastic shell, as you see people often do. Now, you may remember I got these decals for the Super Burner Custom. They're standard rally burner black on yellow decals, I believe, but I had to buy two sets because the first set, which I bought in 2014, had this burner decal, which would never separate from the backing paper. So I had to buy another set just for the burner decal now. I'm not having a go at the seller, they're really good decals and that was just a minor flaw and as luck would have it, it's now separating quite nicely. Now, before applying decals, you should take a credit card type thing and just flatten out the decals like so, get them really nice and smoothed out just to ensure that everything's going to stick nicely backing paper and whatnot. And gently does it. Here we are. 
and hope that we don't lose any lettering on the way. Ah, there we are. There we are. Yeah, we'll just get that nice and smooth down. Try and not get any bubbles or bumps in it. Just get it stuck down nicely, and then we'll leave it for a few minutes. And then we'll take this clear tape off and just leave the rally lettering behind. There, I think that looks pretty nice. Okay, so it's been a few minutes and I've put a few more decals on. I put the words rally and burner on this side as well, a bit closer together, perhaps a bit neater, um, but oh well, uh, variety is good. I've also put the head badge logo there and I cut up the double down tube logo and I've put um, one half of it there and I'll maybe put the other somewhere else. I've looked into the GoPro mounts for this style of helmet and I've seen them mounted down here and I've seen them mounted up here so I'm really going to keep this whole area of the helmet free from stickers for now anyway um, so that I can decide where I want my GoPro mount to go. Um, but yeah, it's looking alright. People know what kind of bike it is I, I ride, what I like, that kind of thing, and it's it's comfortable. And I think I would look in place at a burner meet and not get laughed at, so that's one of the main things. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. I shall see you in the next video. Tatty bye. Damn, son. Shrek is love.